Finally, you locked me back on. You know I hate it when you do that shit. I can't see anything when I get pulled like that. When we're out here, you're supposed to have me on at all times. The whole point of having me in your head is that I help you think. And if you're getting overwhelmed, you need to tell me, or you need to do the exercises they taught you at the beginning of the program. You don't shut me off, you got that? Because next time you might get into trouble and I won't be able to help. It's not enough to be sorry. It needs to never happen again. Are we clear? Good. Now what was so important that you shut me off to think about it? And don't lie to me, I'll be able to tell. Oh, so now you want to focus on the objective. Fine, if you won't tell me, then I guess I'll just dig around for it. Well, I wouldn't have to do it if you just talked to me. We've been assigned together for, what, almost six months now? I would think that you could trust me by now. Ah, oh, fine, we can drop it. For now. It looks like the rendezvous is coming up soon. We've just got a bit of a walk. Well, you have a bit of a walk. Ah, nice to have someone do all the legwork. Real glad I'm just a copy of someone's brain and not, you know, a real person. Sounds exhausting if you ask me. I know, right? If there's anything I remember from who I was copied from, it's that I was a real riot. You ask me this every time I bring it up, and the answer is the same. No. I don't remember anything. I mean, obviously I know what I am and what I'm like, but other than that, nothing. It would be a conflict of interest, or whatever you want to call it. It's easier this way. Well, I guess I do get a little curious sometimes, but it's not like it matters anyway. The guy, well me, kind of, is dead, and all his files were purged when I was made, as per protocol. It's like he, I, never existed. Jesus, it's confusing to talk about this. Although, I really shouldn't tell you that. Never mind. I said that you should trust me, not that I should trust you. There's a big difference. You could easily report me and get me wiped for what I was about to say. Do I? Because half the time you seem to hate having me in your head. So I feel like you'd probably jump on the first chance you'd get to get rid of me. So no, I don't think I'll say. I've run the calculations and there's no benefit here for me. Hmm. I do still want to know what was so important that you deemed it necessary to shut me off. Fine, it's a deal. Oh, I'm going first then. Huh. <laughs> Typical. Well, okay, in the past few months I've been getting these flashes. Yeah, like quick images or glimpses of... Well, I don't know what they're of exactly, but I think they're my memories, or, or his memories, I guess. At first it was just random things, like the ocean, or the front of the house, things like that. But recently it's been people. One person specifically. A woman. And every time I see her, I get overwhelmed with this crushing sense of... of... Yeah, grief. And I have no idea who she is or what she was to me. All I know is that she must have been important, and something must have happened to her when I was alive, or he when he was alive. It's been hard to keep all that straight recently, to be honest. And before you ask, no, it's not going to interfere with my performance during these missions. But it does worry me. I can ignore it most of the time, but sometimes it's the only thing I can think of when I don't have anything else to occupy me. 
And I feel like I'm always on the brink of remembering, but she's just out of reach. Of course I have, but so far I've found nothing. Even if they don't delete files that are only related to who AI are synthesized from, I'm definitely not allowed to access them. Like I said, conflict of interest. If she's alive, they wouldn't want me to know in case I decide to go AWOL to find her. I wouldn't abandon you though. You probably wouldn't make it one mission without me. I'm programmed to care for you, dumbass. Don't have much choice in the matter. Now your turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. We made a deal. You can't go back on it now. I just spilled my figurative heart to you. I think I deserve an explanation whether you want to share it or not. Wait, there's the rendezvous. Talk about being saved by the bell. Let's clear the building. Thankfully it looks pretty small, so it shouldn't take us too long. Well, what are you waiting for? Get going. Looks like it's all clear to me. I don't think we were followed, and I don't detect any human life except you in the area, so I'll send a message to our pickup detail. Get settled, it'll be just a second. There. We're about a day early since our last objective didn't take as long as expected, so we'll be here for the night. Yeah, yeah, I'm upset about it too. It gets a little old hearing the same voice all the time and no one else's. But don't roll your eyes like that. You're not the only one who has to deal with a constant companion and someone else's thoughts in your head. And don't think you're off the hook from earlier. We made a deal, and I expect you to follow through on it. Now, what were you thinking about when you pulled me earlier? It's as good a time as any, the way I see it. We're here for another day, and we have literally nothing to do but talk. <sighs> I'll just keep pestering you about it until you tell me. And you know I'm not one to give up. So I think it's in your best interest to just say whatever it is that's going on with you. Jesus, is it really something that bad that you don't know how to tell me? <laughs> you sound like you're about to confess your undying love for me or something. Wait, uh, wait. No, you can't. That's not it, is it? Oh god, I can feel this it is. You really can't hide your thoughts for shit. How? You barely like me as it is. How in the hell could you be in love with me? In any other circumstances, I wouldn't ask you to change how you feel, but you have to. Because you... We can't. I can't. Look, when they made me, they didn't just copy a guy's brain and send me out. They sliced me up, made sure I didn't have any human weaknesses. Excessive fear, hesitation, things like that. And love. Because it can get in the way. Because it's a... Yeah, it's a conflict of interest. So even if I wanted to, I literally can. I'm sorry. When, how did this even start? It's my job to get you out of these situations like that. I mean, okay, technically the protocol is to self-destruct if we get trapped or captured so I don't fall into the wrong hands. But getting you out of there was more of an out of my own self-interest. Saving you is just ensuring that I survive in the long run. And even if I did, or could love you, there's still the woman I keep seeing. I can, I, I have to know who she is. It wouldn't be fair to you. And more importantly, I'm not even technically human. Literally none of this would work. Even if either of us were in a position to actually pursue that. 
God, we shouldn't even be talking about this right now. If anyone ever found out that we were having this conversation, you'd be discharged and I'd be wiped from existence. Just, just get some sleep and when you wake up, we'll pretend like this never happened. I know I may act like an asshole most of the time, but I like working with you and I don't want to get transferred to another person, okay? So we just have to forget about all this and focus on the mission. Because if we don't, it could get us both separated or killed. For what it's worth, I do care about you. And not just because I'm programmed to. If I could, I think I might. Well, it doesn't matter. Because I can. And I am sorry. <laughs>